Hi, welcome to Panda Key Learning. Digital learning is simplified with happy learning. I am Radhika. I am going to explain the simulation project based on a MATLAB Simlink blocks. Now, let's learn the project about 9 level quadruple boost inverter using a MATLAB Simlink blocks. We also can do the same simulation project in hardware also. Check the description box below for the YouTube links. We also provide free webinars and various courses on the various domains. To get more information, subscribe our Panda Key Learning channel and get updated notification daily. Now, let's see the concept about this project. So first, a new single source multi-level inverter with quadruple boost functionality is a one kind of advanced power electronic device that enables the efficient conversion of electrical energy. It combines the future of the both multi-level inverters and boost inverters to achieve the high voltage gain and improve power quality. So a multi-level inverter in the sense, it is a one kind of a power electronic device that generates a stepped waveform with multi multiple voltage levels. It uses a, a series of power semiconductor switches and capacitors uh, to synthesize the desired output waveform. So main advantage of this multi-level inverter uh, is uh, that it can produce a near sinusoidal output voltage uh, with a lower old total harmonic distortion compared to the other conventional two level inverters. So what is the benefit of this uh, nine level inverter? So main the cost of the inverter and losses increases with increase in the number of components. So by using this nine level quadruple boost inverter, the amplitude of the output voltage can be obtained up to four times the voltage magnitude of the DC source. So this topology has a self voltage balancing capability, hence uh, no extra hardware circuits are recovered to control the capacitor voltage. So by using this technology can be connected with the load having a standard range of power factor. So this 9 level quadruple boost inverter is designed with a significantly reduced component counts. So by using this MPPT controller it is a very important in this uh, quadruple boost inverter. So first MPPT is represents a maximum power point tracking. So this method is implemented to obtain the maximum output power. So mainly this is a very crucial role in this project involving the new uh, single source multi-level inverter. So by using this technique the power output from the PV panels or other renewable energy sources by continuously tracking and adjusting the operating point to maximize the power extraction. So mainly this MPPT controller ensures that the inverter operates the optimal voltage and the current levels maximize the power conversion efficiency. So the main function of this controller, the MPPT controller inv involves continuously tracking or monitoring the output voltage and current of the renewable energy source and adjusting the operating conditions to achieve the maximum power point. So next we are going to use a pulse width modulation technique. So this pulse width modulation technique is used to control the new single source multi-level inverter. So a sinusoidal reference is compared with the multiple level shifted carrier waves to generate the gate pulses for the inverter. So the main purpose of this PWM is to generate a modulated signal that approximates the shape of the reference signal. So this allows for the control of the output voltage magnitude. So this is our circuit diagram of this 9 level boost inverter. Here we have to use 10 switches and two capacitors for charging and discharging. So this is our switching states of the this 9 level inverter. I will show you the MATLAB Simulink model. So go to the MATLAB software. This is our overall simulation model. So here we have to use 10 switches here. So 10 power electronic switches and two capacitors. So mainly this multi-level inverter can produce a 9 level output voltage with a quadruple boost in the output voltage recovers a only 10 power electronic switches. So this inverter has a level generating pot which can provide the 4 voltage levels by the quadruple boosting and employing the 2 capacitors. 
a C1 and a C2 with the voltage rating. This one is a VDC and this one is a 2 VDC respectively. So the switches and T5 and T6 are configured as a reverse blocking switches to prevent the unnecessary discharge of the capacitor C1 and C2. So the a polar alternating polarity can be generated by the polarity generating pot. So these are the polarity generating pot that composed of a four switches H1 and H2 and H3 and H4. So first the capacitor C1 gets connected to the DC source and charged up to the VDC level. So when T1 and T5 are simultaneously in the on state. So here you can see the switching states. So capacitor C1 gets connected to the DC source and charged up to the VDC when a T1 and T5 are simultaneously in on state during the plus or minus 0 and VDC and 3 VDC. So the capacitor C1 is connected in series with the DC source. The capacitor C2 gets connected in parallel when T2 and T3, T6 are in on state. So T2 T3 and T6 are in the on state. So the capacitor C1 discharge while the capacitor C2 charges up to the 2 VDC level. So during the plus or minus VDC output voltage. So both the capacitors C1 and C2 and DC sources are connected in a series when T2 and T4 T2 and T4 are simultaneously turned on the plus or minus a 4 VDC voltage level is up attained. So this is our switching state and go to the MATLAB Simulink model. So this is our a 10 switches. This is a solar PV panel. Here we are giving the constant value. This is a constant value here and this is a level generating pot H1 and H2, H3, H4 like that. So this is a T1, T2, T3 are the switches. So this is our gauge signal subsystem. So here we are giving the um, pulse to the 10 switches. So this is for a S1, S2, S3, S4. So these uh, 10 switches connected together in a 1. So this is a scope and we will run this simulation. So here you can see the pulses of the switches. So this is our pulses of the This is our pulses of the 10 switches. So we are giving the pulse by using the pulse width modulation and we are going to feed this into this uh, 9 level inverter. So go to this go. Let's run this model. So as a result the waveform generated by this inverter, this is our output here by using this solar PV. So a reduced switch 9 level switch capacitor based required to boost inverter. This one is for, suggested for the PV applications by using a solar PV panel as a only source here. So though the inverter, this inverter topology implies the two capacitors of unequal voltage rating. The capacitor valve voltage uh, equilibrium is established without employing an, AD, an additional voltage balancing strategy. So the comparative shows that the proposed 9 level inverter topology has a several advantages over the other popular 9 level switched capacitor inverter. Finally, this is a result uh, from, the, from our uh, simulation project. This is our uh, 9 level quadruple boost inverter. Overview about this MATLAB simulation project has been explained. 
To get more information about this project and MATLAB files, contact Pantech eLearning from the description box below. Thank you for watching this video. We also provide a free webinars and various courses on various domains. To get more information, subscribe our Pantech eLearning channel and get updated notification daily. If the concept explained is useful and informative, give like and share. Comment your feedback in the comment box. Thank you once again.